Hello everyone, Pat Doherty with your latest topic for Tennis IQ for today. We're talking about defensive ground strokes and one of the places you're going to need it most where we need to be our best defensive weapons is on return of serve. So in order to play tight to the baseline and stay in an offensive position, you have to be able to eliminate and trim out any excess take back. And against first serve returns, you'll notice here if we look closely with Mr. Federer, He's just doing a, a bit of a shoulder turn, keeping his feet where, he, where they are. This is a return. But if you look closely, you'll see that the butt of the racket doesn't quite get to the point where it drives towards the ball. This is his defensive version of his forehand. It's something you guys need to spend time developing and practicing. I remember back in the days when Andre Agassi was growing up here, he became one of the greatest returners of all time, and one of the exercises we used to do with him is put his back against the curtain indoors, and then we would practice serving at him, and he wasn't able to take that racket back at all because it would run into the back backstop, which you can try doing too, and have people feed you balls where if you go back any further, it's blocking that going back. So learn how to be able to reduce the butt end out like you see Federer doing here. Another great place to work on your defensive ground strokes is get close to that garage wall or that backboard that you're working against and practice your short half volleys and get used to that, develop the ability to, to use other people's power to send back to them. Put some time into the defensive versions. It's not always just about being able to set and strike bigger than the ball you receive. A lot of times we have to make the concession that I'm facing the biggest weapon they've got in their game and it's their first serve. I better put a good defense out on the court to address that. Good luck working on it.